friends, welcome back to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. And we've been talking about the wastewater treatment process. And we've seen the overview of wastewater treatment in the last video lecture. And we also talked about the preliminary wastewater treatment. And we know that after the preliminary wastewater treatment, the water, the wastewater moves to the primary wastewater treatment. So now we are going to talk about primary wastewater treatment and what happens in the primary wastewater treatment process. In the primary wastewater treatment, it's a physical method of wastewater treatment separation. That means we are separating solids from the wastewater with physical barriers. And in this case, what kind of physical barriers we use? We do the same kind of physical barrier mediated separation of large solids from the wastewater using preliminary treatment. But the major difference between a preliminary wastewater treatment and a primary wastewater treatment is in the primary wastewater treatment, we simply use a gravitational force for the solids to settle down uh, to the bottom of the settlement or settling tanks or clarified tanks in the primary wastewater treatment. So, so uh, approximately 25 to 50 percent of all incoming biological oxygen demand, 50 percent to 70 percent of the total suspended solids and 65 percent of the oil and grease are removed during the primary wastewater treatment. So this is our motto. And the materials we generally separate with primary wastewater treatment is fat, oils and grease, uh, which we know as a FOG fog, sand, gravels and rocks, aka grit, and larger settlement solids, including human waste and floating materials. These are all uh, are getting filtered from uh, the wastewater. And uh, this primary treatment protects pumps and equipments from damage because the moment the water will move to the next secondary treatment, tertiary treatment, the machines may get damaged if the solid materials are still present in the wastewater. So it's very important to reduce them and remove them. That's what we are doing with the help of primary wastewater treatment. So the major equipment of primary wastewater treatment is a big tank known as primary settlement tank of the wastewater. You can see in this picture, this is the sedimentation tank, known as the primary sedimentation tank. In this picture, you can see uh, two different lines. If I, if I draw a line from this middle, uh, one picture is on top, another is in the bottom. The things present in the bottom is not our concern because uh, things in the bottom are secondary waste water treatment. We, we will talk about that in the next video. But the, but the picture in top is what works in the primary waste water treatment. So water comes in through the grid chamber. Generally, grid chamber is a part of preliminary wastewater treatment. There are screeners who generally separates larger solid particles. So we know this is the part of the preliminary treatment. And we have already checked that part in the last video. If you haven't seen that, please watch that video so that you can make more sense about this video. So the water now comes in. It carries dissolved solids. It carries some solid particles, which are not that big. But yes, uh, rock. Uh, gravels and all this sands, everything is there. So what we need to do is use this huge sedimentation tank. We call it primary sedimentation tank or primary clarifier tank. This primary sedimentation tank where all this uh, water filled with, wastewater filled with uh, the solids are placed. And in the sedimentation tank, what happens that uh, those all solids start to uh, settle down to the to the bottom of this tank and as it's settling down to the bottom of the tank we are calling it as a sludge the sludge is uh, is a name for uh, any other large components large or solid components in the wastewater which is not uh, floating in the water which is being settled to the bottom because of its higher weight with this gravitational force is getting settled to the bottom. Now the question is for this settlement we need to reduce the flow of water because till the point of uh, this preliminary treatment the water was continuously flowing. Now in this case to, to prevent the water to flow less what we can do is simply we use this these large tanks and uh, the water flow is regulated. We slow down the water and we allow the water to settle down. Okay, because uh, during the process of collection tube as well as preliminary treatment water was flowing, but at this point we are slowing the, the rate. So we measure this as a flow uh, per minute. That means the, let's say if you, if you drop something in this water and what distance it will travel per minute or what distance it will travel per second, that's how you measure the flow of water. So if you put a solid, let's say a paper, you just put it into the water, it, it only moves 10 foot 
so uh, in, in a minute so you say it's uh, the, the flow rate of the water is 10 feet per minute so this is the kind of situation here. So we reduce the flow of water in the sedimentation tank because the more we reduce the flow, the better sedimentation we can achieve. So whatever large solid particles settle down to the bottom known as the sludge, and there are very few things uh, what we can say that smaller uh, oil-like components which are floating on the top, grease floating on the top because they cannot settle down to the bottom. So we need to use two types of schemas to separate these things you know one so in the sedimentation tank we have a rotor in the rotor we have two different arm like structure one on the top connecting to the surface of the water and one on the bottom the bottom one is scrapping on the sludge and collecting them to the bottom and the the arm that is present on the top is actually separating all those uh, what i can say the grease oils oil like components separating from one another we call it scum so there are two types of wastes that are produced from this primary settlement tank one is the scum which are grease and oil droplets which are formed on the top so comes scum settlement and then uh, the large very solid particles settle out to the bottom known as the sludge we separate them as usual so the sludge once separated is transported to a sludge handling facility afterwards and the uh, effluent which is separated from the sludge and scum is transported to the next stage of the wastewater treatment which is the secondary wastewater treatment which we will see in the next video. So this is preliminary and this is secondary in the middle we have the primary wastewater treatment. So if you see the machines that are involved is this, this is what we are talking about. This is the rotor that is, that is in place and we have the sludge and we have the scum. Uh, so if you look at this picture, this is how it looks like, this is the large tank, primary settlement tank. Uh, you can see this picture here as well, large primary settlement tank. And the beauty about this tank is, is that if you look at this, this tank contains these two regions. You know, one, this is a bridge where the people can go and, and can check whether everything is okay or not, center is the motto. And this is the wreck, as I, as I said, there is a wreck to separate the scum and also a wreck in the bottom to separate the sludge. So you can see scum match by, this is known as schemer arm. Schemer is that kind of mechanical structure that we scheme and separate all those grease and floating oil materials from the top. And in the bottom also, uh, there is also another schema which is not visible in this picture. But that's the thing, you know, this thing continues rotating. So if you look at the top view model, it looks like a clock. And uh, the arm of the clock is moving like a schemer separating all those scums on the top layer and sludge in the bottom layer. Okay, so that's how uh, it's separating scums and sludge from the wastewater. And that's our motto in the primary treatment, to separate any solid material that is present as much as we can. And we use gravitational force for the solids to be settled down. Because uh, if we fail to do so, if this solid particle still remains in the water, that may damage uh, the further process of wastewater treatment downstream. Okay. So, that's regarding the primary wastewater treatment. Now, in the next video, we'll be talking about the secondary wastewater treatment in details. So, if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that. And do not forget to watch the complete series of this lecture because uh, in, in the next lecture, we'll be talking about the secondary treatment and also we'll be closing all the important information about the biological wastewater treatment. So, stay tuned and watch the series.